But Brandon wasn't paying attention. And this happened. This guy is like, I'm stuck do down here. Please. Help me out. He's never gonna let me go. So, uh... Had, oh, I can't put my gun at him. What'd you forget, friend? Oh, now. That's a fool. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now. All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Yeah, he's awake right now. He told me. You, you just stay away from me. Now, what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. What the freak? Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Just what the hell is going on here? Yeah. He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? You're not gonna help me? Take anything you want. Just leave I'm us in peace. Out of here. Am I? How do you do, sir? <laughs> so I know this must look bad, but the boy needed to be disciplined. Sometimes they need a little tough love. No, the chains! Shoot the chains! Ain't. Oh, oh, finally! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry! Son. Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. Done? I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> this was not how I expected this to go. Now I've seen it all. was like among the things I did not expect to happen. So guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Um today we're gonna go ahead and look at the gray area because I feel like it's a gray area for us. Move already. But um And hopefully we'll find uh, some dirt. 
And I just robbed the store in broad daylight. I'm just I'm just play some pistol protect. Oops. Yeah, it happens. This is a plantation house, so this would be fun. So I can't use any weapons again. Hey there, mister. Hello, mister. I have a feeling. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Okay, so... This is basically an information mission, as we expected. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay. I like I don't know how to pronounce that. I never figured that out. Who gives a name with three vowels? I'm feeling things should happen here. Okay. I'm expecting one of these times to happen, but I haven't read that one. Just because I know how this game is. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. No. Love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaite's for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds, it seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. What is this mission? Is this Romeo and Juliet? I gotta sneak into the grounds of... Okay, this is gonna be a fun one. Where am I even going? What the freak? Okay. Wait. Why is my horse over there? That's not where I put him. So long and good luck. Then you go to the grounds of the All right, Romeo. Old Romeo. God, this is gonna be. We have another sneak mission. It's kind of weird that we have like so many sneak missions in a row. 
Oh, but it's right. I wasn't ready to break that. I oh, know I cannot use a weapon in roads. So if I found a rabbit, I'll be mad. I'm allowed to kill people, because I'll do it. Oh, they were shooting me on sex with a badge. Maybe I'll take a bath too. These flies are getting ridiculous. Get out of here now! Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist! Alright, bye. Now keep at it, and don't come back unless you Okay, so they're very nice about this. Let me see. We know where she's at. She's on the very edge. So what I want to do... Grab a horse and it's gonna sound funny is we're gonna ride because we know she's there so many people over here. How's the map look now? This is more doable. I think we're good now. go this way, we can literally just walk there.
Why does she have to, like, on the edge of the property? I'm thinking, oh, okay, it's gonna be easy. She's gonna be right there on the property. No. She is on the clear other side of the edge of the property. Yeah, I actually see the gazebo this time. If it wasn't such a pain that you can't swim, this would be easy. Wait, you can swim? I thought for some reason he couldn't. Oh, I gotta watch the stamina bar, though. Okay, so this level was a lot easier than I expected. I expected a little bit more of a challenge, but I can just do that the whole time. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh... He is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. <gasps> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but... My uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated, uh. I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Are you serious? Sure. What if I'm ever red? I just go how big is this area. One, two, three, seven, six, 
four, five, eleven. This is such a weird. What the freak is that? God, he's on the other side of the freaking area. Well, that's not how I expected this to start to go. Alright, so we go back to visit Bo. When I see Bo, I think B O, not B A E E A E I O. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here either. I'm right. I won't even. I'm trying to hunt a rabbit. Seems legit, right? No! Wait, rattlesnake? Okay, horse, I understand you don't like the fact of the rattlesnake. Got him, coach. Thank God I got that. Jump over three obstacles in 15 seconds. Wait. This is gonna be easy. I just need to like go to, let's say, a plantation. Where? Where there's like three obstacles back to back to back. I kind of like that. Yeah. What the freak? Valentine's to Rhodes in five minutes. I wasn't ready for that. Great family business. Coming through. You're good. So I think one of my goal is from here on out is to do at least one challenge an episode because literally with 90 challenges we do I mean it's gonna be. I figured this is gonna be one of the longest let's play I've ever done. I guaranteed that a long time ago. When Red Dead One was the longest. So I thought the two to be even longer, hundred percent. What the freak? Hey, study. What? What am I supposed to do? Oh no! Hey, I gotta know what's next. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Good oh, God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna...
They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get Where going. am I going? Mount my horse. Oh no. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. We're go He's going the roads. Come on. Okay. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. That's a little plantation they got. I mean, nowadays. Can't even say that word before someone gets offended. I probably should have made two defenses. But you know. Easy boy, calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I wanna marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Huh. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> I don't like right, this. Ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook now, the food and we thank Take us down Lord Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good. Mr. Wait, your orders isn't your real name. And not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. Am I allowed to cause problems? Why am I doing this? Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail. The species. Yeah, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Well, yeah. Founding Father! 
Raiders, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. His philosophy hey. dependent on What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, little... where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We, we got to go before they think twice. Oh, boy. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. The future. A land of equality. But this is protect them? Are we taking Bo instead? I'm so confused. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows. I have a feeling this is gonna ruin this plan. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her. Hey, I met her. She weren't right. You know, and Penelope said, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm so confused. What's going on? Wait, you're going for the sheriff? 30 bucks? Hey, I got a gold for a while without even trying. That's new. All right. I think the only mission. Why am I all the way back here? I have Ab. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, next someone read Ever Nation 2. Probably one of those two people.